Hey guys, Troy here. Today I'll be going over a quick comprehensive Captain Falcon guide for Smash Wii U. He's been a fun character to play ever since the first game and only got more fun over time. Since Smash for Wii U has been released, me along with some of my other friends found a lot of useful tips and overall strategy while playing him and I want to share them with you today. So let's get started with an overview of his general playstyle. Mainly, Captain Falcon is a rushdown offensive character who can punish very well at certain moments. He's not really preferred to play defensively, but is kind of a medium heavy character, making him hard to kill. He has numerous KO moves paired with great speed and a great dash, and has one of the best dash grabs in the game. He sets up very nicely and makes him very versatile, but we'll get into that later. To get started, I want to go over some of his maneuvering while on stage and in the air. One of the most useful tools that Falcon has at his arsenal is his fast fall. Unlike short hopping, fast falling can create just as many advantages, like survival, create follow opportunities, setting up your combos, and dodging without having to use your dodge or your shield. It also reduces landing lag. Likewise, grabbing is one of the most essential tools Falcon has that he should be using at all times. It creates pressure, stage control, and more importantly, his main way to set up his combos, which we're about to go over. For Captain Falcon, his main go-to combo will be his down grab into a neutral air jump into a follow-up attack. One thing to note is you must dash forward after you down throw and then use the forward momentum to complete the neutral air attack to prevent an unintentional knee or any air attack that could potentially miss and create a punish. You can also down throw into two up airs and these combos are just going to create more options for you to do your multiple uh, KO potential attacks. And we all know his back fist is also one's main KO potential moves. That moves very very fast. And if you're wondering about Captain Falcon's side A air knee attack, well, that move seemed a bit too risky for me to go over more in detail, and there are no perfect combos for you to do at 100% success rate. So th for that, you just have to practice, practice, practice. One last thing to point out for Captain Falcon's combos is his jab combos. These things will give you guys great setup on just anything from grabbing to follow up attacks. They're really hard to get out of, and they cannot be shield grabbed if you repeatedly do it. And as you can see here, we'll set up any attack into a KO potential attack. Next for Captain Falcon, I want to go over recovery options. For Captain Falcon, one really useful recovery option that's kind of overlooked and that's, that I found very useful is wall kicking. It's not essential, but a clever way to throw off your opponent needs off some pressure if they're trying to bully you off ledge. It only works on certain stages like Battlefield. To perform the wall kick, you must position yourself under the ledge, tilt the control stick towards the wall, then away from it right after. It will perform a kick and an attack reset to give you more attack options and follow up attacks into your other combos and anything else like that. Just give a little practice. Watch as you fall towards the ledge, jump off, and then attack. Simple. Next, we're going to go over spikes. Captain Falcon has two main spike attack moves. His first is his down air attack, which when used off the ledge, will spike them down into a zero recovery kill. If you use it on the stage, it will bounce them up, leading into a follow-up attack. It's very useful just to even go off the ledge like a wall kick into a spike. Worth. His second spike is his up tilt spike. Being used at the beginning of the attack on his foot, it will send them straight down as a spike. It's really useful to note that if they're off ledge and they come at you with an attack like right here, it's a for sure spike. Here it is in slow motion to get a better idea. Now the last thing we're going to go over is how to style your opponents. The best preferred method to do this is the Falcon Punch Turnaround. The way to do it is, after you initially press B starting the punch, tilt the control stick in the opposite direction you're facing. This will turn you around, completing the punch. Here's a slowed down version to also get a better idea. With practice, you can maneuver this in air. The more you hold the control stick while in air, the further you will travel. This can create great positioning to landing the punches in the most disrespectful way possible. I want to thank you guys for watching this guide. Leave a like down below if you would like to see more guides like this in the future. I want to make a big shout out to my friend Jesse for giving me a lot of great footage and advice on this guide. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.